Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Stay away from this door. It is blocked and my voice as I started this vlog. It seems like my vocal cords were also, <laughs> also a little bit on the blocked side. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the daily, almost a hidden Mickey, except there's no body. So we'll just call this creeper peeper eyes in the form of water mains or water regions that go down, scurry down into the road. What the heck? It's a figure eight, actually. It's the daily woo. I'm coming to you from, where am I exactly? I am on the corner. I'm on the corner of Maple Avenue and Main Street. And this is some sort of shopping center, a grocery store. There is a gas station over that way. Ah, yes, I am in the city of Orange. And here is a fire station, number five, that is located at 1345 West Maple Avenue. And the question I want to ask you right now is, are those petunias? How is everyone today? Today is Wednesday. It is hump day. It is that day affectionately known as the middle of the week. That is why we call it hump day, like a camel's hump. This is when you have the ebbs and flows, the lows and the highs, the good points and the bad points of your week, all culminating into a humpy-like region. As I'm walking down the road, these people in these houses are probably saying, what is this guy doing? Why is he gallivanting his hand all around? Look at this, look at the ground here. Someone has stepped their toesies in this goo. And actually you can see, you can see where their path is treading. Look at this, you can see their feet prints right here. What the heck? And they're going this way too. And where do those footprints behind me lead? I was driving around and I passed by something very cool and I thought it would make a very topical vlog, this unedited vlog that I have done for quite some time. I don't even know what day we are on, but we are well past 1,300 days in a row together, you and I vicariously, without missing a day together. We have spent so many wonderful moments and today is no exception because I want to show you something really fantastic that lies right behind this fence. And if you pricked your finger on this, you would probably need to immediately go to get a tetanus shot. Do you go to the emergency room to get a tetanus shot or is that something you just buy over the counter at like Walgreens or CVS? What is behind that? The community gardens. And the park hours are from dawn to dusk. I don't know what this means. OMC 12.48.090. So that means the park is open right now, even though I do not actually see an entryway into here. But basically what a community gardens is, is the community, the city, I'm guessing, of Orange and Santa Ana and Anaheim. Anyone can come out here and plant, plant the seeds of goodness into this community garden. I've always been fascinated with gardening. I've always been fascinated with planting things and having them grow. But I, I must assure you, do not have a green thumb. And I also must, must assure you, you did not see it. But when I leaned the camera over the top, this wrist right here next to my tattoo that says, Dead Men Tail No Tails, Pirates of the Caribbean, of course, from the ride. I actually got this tattoo before the movies even came out. And the movies came out and everyone said, oh, you must really like the movies. No, I actually am a huge fan of the Disney ride, of course, back then. This is before I went to Disneyland. This is when I only knew the ride existed at Walt Disney World and Magic Kingdom. And now I am more of a fan of the Disneyland versions. But I have a tattoo and right there, I was pricked by a piece of tetanus inducing rust when I leaned over the top of this. So the vlog's topic is about this community gardens. And I do not actually see an entryway into the community gardens, but there's a lot of good stuff down there. There is some cabbage, there are some carrots, and other assorted goodness. And look, hay! There's actually some hay 
right over there. I'm having a great day. I'm running some errands. I went to Home Depot, or the Home Depot, as it is spelled, and I tried getting a replacement for my screen door that was busted by a person who tried to break into my house the other night. And even though I bought the screen door at Home Depot, when I moved in to the home here in Orange County, California, and I installed that screen door myself, and I bought that screen door at Home Depot, they do not sell the replacement handle that was snapped off by this intruder and the screw. I cannot get the screw out of the handle, so I need to buy a replacement handle or use super glue or something to try to fix this handle because Home Depot does not have the part I need even though they sell said screen door. They do not have the replacement parts. Do you have a community gardens in your town? Do you like to go to the center of your little community and help promote greenery? Help... <laughs> what word am I trying to do? Do you like to help promote foliage growth in your community? Do you like these lemons? Do you like to eat lemons and plant lemons? Or maybe those are just fermented oranges that have changed color. We are in Orange County right now. The sun is very bright. I'm very thankful that I actually am wearing my sunglasses. So check it out. The community gardens. And now that I'm looking at it, leave a comment down below. Do you think this community gardens is currently kept up? Or is this community gardens a thing of the past? Is anyone keeping up with the upkeep of this community gardens? Look over the fence and tell me what you think. Very peculiar. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's walk around. Let's walk around to the other side. We might actually be able to find an entrance. Of course, we'll have to walk all the way around the firehouse, the fire station. Wouldn't it be exciting? It would not be good because usually when a fire truck starts to like let its lights off and turns its sirens on, that means it's on a way to a fire, which means someone's having a bad day. But from our end, if we saw a fire truck leave the fire station and turn his lights on, that would kind of make for an exciting vlog, which is interesting how life works like that because in one situation, someone gets excited about something happening, but on the other end, it could be a negative thing, just like when a fire truck leaves a fire station and a child or an adult like me who has a childlike heart gets very excited about seeing a fire truck in action when in reality the reason it is going to said location is because someone is having a very very bad day we could just wait right here we could just wait right here for the fire truck to come out do not enter it's a good thing that we cut across the grass this way because if we went that way, we would be breaking the rules and we would be entering a do not enter zone. I thought that was a snake for a second. I thought that was a snake peeking out of that farmer boy's burger's cup. That's not a snake though. That's just basically a stick or a plant-like type of things. Farmer boys is pretty good. I love getting, there's a place here in Southern California called Farmer Boys. And they got like all kind of food. They got burgers, they got breakfast burritos, they have breakfast food, they have all kind of wonderful things. And they have these fried, what are they exactly? They're fried, not cucumbers, but they're fried something else. I'm drawing a blank on what they are, but they are delicious. They always say that chocolate, people say chocolate is the hardest food and the most addictive food. But I read a study once, tell me if you agree with this. I read a study once that the most addictive Whoa, what the, whoa, what the heck was that? What in the heck was that? That wasn't from the firehouse. There's an elementary school right there and there's an alarm going off. That was really loud. They say that, some people say that chocolate is the hardest thing to give up. But I read a study once that fried food is the number one most addictive thing that you can consume to actually fill your belly. What do you guys think? Is that true or false? What is your most addictive food? It should be lemons. 
It should be lemons, or it should be, what are these? These are not lemons. What the heck are these? Man, is that a fire truck coming behind me? Yes, 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 yes. See how excited I get just about seeing a fire truck? Even without the fire truck lights being on, I'm getting overly, overly excited. Okay, the community gardens entrance even though it says it is open from dawn till dusk, would be daylight to nighttime, is closed. It is locked up. There is a lock on here. But you can see there is mulch back there. There are pallets of goodness. And look, there's a cool little walkway. Look. So we need to come back when this is open. I'm not sure when the hours are. But I would actually like to meet someone who actually works here, volunteers here. This is all fascinating to me. Do you have one of these in your town? Do you volunteer at a community gardens? What type of things are you good at planting and growing? I need some tips on planting and growing things. In front of my home, I put two plants, two flowers, if you will. This is like six or seven months ago that I tried to grow that were supposedly the easiest plants in the world to take care of, they died. I killed them. I am the worst person ever when it comes to taking care of foliage. So I need your tips. Give me your, what do they call it? What, is, what do they call it when you are a, you have a very green thumb? Not a hydroponic specialist. Well, I guess that could be it. But there is a horticulturist. If you are a self-proclaimed horticulturist, I need your tips, and others who are reading the comments down below would love to hear from you. My friend Jacob, the carpetbagger, flies in today, and he will be arriving at my home tonight. We are going to hang out. I do not know what he has up his carpetbagger-esque sleeve for the rest of the week, but I will be hanging out with him a lot. I have to get back to my homestead and finish editing down a video that I did with my friend Micah from World of Micah. That is taking a while. It's taking a heck of a long time because I am utilizing a lot of my non, very non well, well versed and induced editing skills because I'm not that great. When it comes to filming and editing, I'm not that good. Everything you see takes a lot of trial and error, but I'm working hard on this next video and I will be hopefully uploading that in the next few days. So I have to get back, spend the next few hours doing that before my friend Jacob, the carpetbagger, arrives. We have come back full circle and we are now ending this vlog on this blocked door this door is blocked and there are some vanilla snacks down here vanilla ice cream sandwich snacks and some vitamin d milk ultra pasteurized all right guys wow we have shown a lot of stuff look at this truck full of bales. You know what these come, you know what these are from, right? These are actually from a grocery store. And when you're in a grocery store, when you empty your boxes, when you're stocking the shelves, you go in the back room and you put your boxes in what they call a baler. And that crushes them in that. That is the final product of this guy's waving at me. He's very excited about my story of the bales. Actually, a long time ago, I remember in Florida, there was this bail bandit. I wonder if when he went to jail, I wonder if the bail bandit when he went to jail got out on bail. That is an interesting question. But the story of the bail bandit is he went behind these grocery stores. He took those bales and he took some like hardcore clippers and he snipped the wires so that the bales came apart and spread apart. So there was all this cardboard in a big pile behind these grocery stores. And then he took a lighter or a match and a little bit of gasoline and he burned the bales. He had a big bale burning party in the back of these grocery stores. And I think he ended up getting arrested and who knows where he is now. Maybe the bale bandit is watching this vlog and hopefully if the bale bandit has changed his ways, he has subscribed just like you have, sir, ma'am and children, not only to this channel, but also to my main channel, YouTube slash Adam the Woo. Check down below for my t-shirts, adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com. Adam the Woo on Patreon, just Google it. The way Patreon works is if you wanna help fuel the Woo, help me travel around, help put gas in my van, which is right there. And maybe your name is Ralph. Your name could be Ralph underneath 
Ralph, which could be you. Actually, leave a comment. If your actual name is Ralph, I actually have no friends that I have actually met named Ralph. So I would like to meet you in a vicarious way through the beauty of this YouTube. If your name is Ralph, just like this grocery store, leave a comment down below. Back to the Patreon. If you want to help fuel the woo, put gas in this van, help book plane tickets, travel plans. I have a lot of things on the agenda for 2016. It is just kicking into gear. Help me out through Patreon. Do not pledge more than a dollar to five dollars. A dollar or two dollars would be good per month. That would help fill this bad boy, this 12 mile per gallon beast. But do not go over five dollars. I would rather have a plethora of people helping out than just a few people giving more than other people. I would like it to be a whole circle of goodness, if that makes any sense. Adam the Woo on Patreon. And if you do not want to do that, there's always the t-shirts. AdamTheWoo.Spreadshirt.com. We have covered so many subjects, yet we have learned absolutely nothing, which is kind of the topic of these vlogs. I like to just show things off. I like to bring you into my life, tell you what I am up to. And right now, I'm going to go inside this Ralph's and see if I can meet a real Ralph or hopefully meet you if you have left a comment down below and your name is Ralph. But hopefully, I can go inside there and meet a Ralph. I wonder if there's ever been a female named Ralph. Maybe inside there I'll meet a female named Ralph, or a child who at some point in another, which we all have, has Ralphed. That was gross.